Hey bunny, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. If you're here for the first time, hi, my name is Honey. Um, and welcome to my channel. And if you're not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you get notified every time I post a new video. I post new videos every single Wednesdays and Fridays. Um, hmm, what kind of videos do I post on this channel, guys? Um, I post pretty personal, pretty um. And okay, I post very personal videos on this channel, guys. And um, sometimes I feel like um, I do the most. Um, so uh, today we are doing one of those very personal videos. And uh, to be honest, I don't even know why I've decided to do this video. But lately, I've been feeling like being a savage. <gasps> no, I'm just kidding. But um, I feel like it's a video like um, somebody could relate to it and somebody could um, like, I don't know, like these are things that maybe just signs that the next time you're in this situation you would kind of know and you would like, I think it's just some, a, a video that someone out there might need. So um, where do I start? Uh, what is this video about? about I'm gonna talk about the first, the, the first, the second time, not the first time, the second time I got ghosted in. I feel like um, men can be childish sometimes, or ladies too, because um, ladies do this as well. But I don't understand the culture of ghosting or the immaturity that comes with ghosting someone. Like, why don't you just be honest and say, "Hey, I don't wanna talk to you." Like, just you're just gonna ghost them. And then the weird thing about them is that they come back after they've ghosted you, like, they're gonna ghost me and still come back and still, what, expect me to now answer you or whatever, but... Anyways, um, if that's a video you, uh, if that's a tea, the kind of tea that you'd like to hear, then, uh, stay tuned and I don't even know why I'm doing this video or if this video is ever gonna go up, but if it does, it does in, uh, um... Uh, yeah, uh, let's get into the video. So, um, I met this person at a, a party. Uh, yeah, a party, but like... It's like a graduation party, right? That's where I met this person, and he was fun. He was fun. He was like a really came off as a really nice guy, and uh, I, like I don't know, you know, when you meet a guy at a party, like right, and then he just does it, like he he's, he is interested in you, like he should, he's telling you he's interested in you and everything, but he's not too much, like he's not all over you, he's not trying to get into your pants already and he's just gentle like a really gentle guy right so um yeah that's how i met this guy and that's how i first you know saw him as but also just a uh, quick uh, um also before that now before the whole shenanigan of how um i started liking him or whatever um he came off as a very typical Typical. Okay, now if I say that, then I'm gonna give it away. But like, he came off to be very typical and very. What is the word? Um, more kind of the guy that I go for, like the guy with the personality, the guy that just says whatever is on his lips, and he just says it and kind of no filter kind of guy. So that's how he came off. In in the in the beginning of my uh like whatever but then as the night went on and the uh, day went on i kind of started you know um uh, giving in like kind of starting to like him so yeah um and then some time went by and basically just didn't um get him like contact each other or whatever and i ended up getting his number from a friend and then I started talking to him, right? I'm not talking to him basically, not telling him that I like him or whatever, but just like, you know, basic chats, basic conversations. And yeah, um, he invites me to go out with him and his friend. 
and I agreed like my boy and I I like the guy right we go out together and for most of the night it was fun it was it was it was like a fun night to be honest but um yeah um yeah some of the signs that you could use that this guy probably just trying to sleep with you and you know move on like he's not either he's in a relationship or he's just trying to sleep with you or whatever like these are the signs that i missed okay so um the first thing was that he didn't which is so stupid like honey why like he wasn't the one i like i texted him first okay like so i kind of started it off like i'm the one that texted him first but i didn't text him to say hey i like you or whatever just like hey like met you the other day whatever but like it was just like hi you you know and then he started initiating all the other talks the whole i like you i want you all of those so like he wasn't the one that first texted me i'm the one that texted him first but somehow he uh come and liked me and he come and wanted me or like i don't know he'd been looking for my number but uh why am i the first one texting you that's something that you were gonna do anyways but yeah that's the first sign that i missed um the second sign that i missed was um the entire evening he would like you know you are together right but it's like he would come to you when there are other guys around you when it's just you and girls or whatever like he he's not gonna come to you or like he will come and then he'll like go away for a while and then come back and then go away for a while like he wasn't just there like we are out together right like we are going out it's fine it's a chill like that we came together so why am i with my other friends that i didn't even come with and why are you all over the place like also why i think i didn't take that too serious in that moment was because um he was a very popular to say the least um he was popular so he kind of knew everyone and everyone knew him so i was like oh, okay cool uh, i guess it's what you get for being popular whatever so i let that skip or whatever um the second thing that i guess not the second but the third thing that i missed was just um <laughs> right before i texted him or oh, the whole reason it took me forever to text him was um his profile picture had another girl him and another girl there was a picture of him and another girl right so i never i kind of got his number and i just had it for uh, like a month or so without texting because i saw this picture with him of another girl and another girl's whatsapp profile picture right so i never i was like okay now i'm gonna text him probably he clearly he has a girlfriend or whatever but um when I asked him about it, like after I texted, I, after I texted him and I asked him about it, he was like, "No, it's not my girlfriend. It's just a friend of mine who went to a photo shoot together, right?" I'm like, "Okay, go photo shoot, bye." <laughs> Why not, right? It was just a photo shoot. Um, yeah, but like guys, I was just a clown, so like I feel like I should have noticed all of that, but I just, I just didn't like. I was mute to it, right? <laughs> But yeah, um, so me and this guy were together this night and then, not the night that I met him, but the night that he asked me out to go out with him, right? And um, to be honest, obviously the, besides the second half of the night where he got drunk and when he better to talk about this, but like, he got drunk and he wanted to walk home instead of wait for the car and I'm a girl, but I felt like, also not comes with me, it's just being like a very caring person, right? But I felt like, okay, let me just walk with him, maybe it's not that far, like, let me just walk with him, it's, I mean, he's drunk, like, so, would you rather let someone, I don't know guys, would you let someone walk back home alone drunk, and you know they're drunk, and then you, you never know, something might happen to them or whatever, and then leave with the guilt of... I should have, um, you know, tried harder to keep this person safe, but I didn't. Like, okay, so yeah, I walked with him home and we got robbed, but it wasn't that serious. Like, some guy just grabbed my handbag, which he was carrying, and then he tried to chase after the guys, but then my phone 
or his and his phone were in his pocket so I was like no don't do that like you you have our phones so if you chase them you're basically chasing a pest that has nothing like my kids were not even in the pest like I didn't have my kids I think I left my sister at home so I didn't go with my kids so it was really pointless but so yeah nothing serious like you know people grab handbags all the time and whatever but yeah so you would think like the next day this person would at least try to check up on you to be like hey um are you fine why did you lose what was in your handbag nah this guy did not do that like i'm calling him i'm texting him and it's like nothing no answer no no text back nothing right and so i think okay cool but this person is ignoring me or like ghosting me or whatever like Fine. Um, the next day, I kept trying, and I called his friend, the one where I got his number from. Um, I texted him, and I'm like, "Hey, um, do you know where your friend is? You know?" And then he's like, "No. Um, I guess he's just at home, or like I don't know what, why he's not picking up his phone. But I'll go check for him. I'll go check. I'll go check up on him for you, right?" I'm like, "Okay, cool. Thanks." He goes, and then this guy calls me, and he's like, "Oh no." Um, I guess he just doesn't want to talk to anyone, like he doesn't even want to answer my phone, I don't know what's wrong with him, I'm like, oh, okay, cool, you know, it's what it is. So, um, I guess that's when I picked up, like, okay, no, like, this guy is basically ghosting me, I guess the date, he didn't go well or whatever, but, cool, fine, whatever, I, I let, I let this go, right, I just, I'm like, okay, cool, we're done, right, it's over, like, it's not over, like, basically it never started in the first place, too, so, it's what it is. And then um, a few weeks, not a few weeks, yeah, it's, I think a few weeks. A few weeks go by and I'm in town, right? I'm walking back. I'm walking from walk to go get cap, right? From walk to go get cap and I pass by KFC. And somehow, guys, this guy is there, like he's driving out of KFC and he's just there with this big, huge smile, expecting me to smile back at him. And I'm just like, dude. Why do you think I should be smiling back at you right now? Like, you ignored me, right? And this is a coincidence that we're just jumping into each other right now. So, um, why do you expect me to smile back at you? Like, why are you even smiling? Are you smiling? Are you laughing? Or what? What's happening, guy? But yeah, um, I I ignored him. I just walked away, uh, crossed the road, got a cab, got home, whatever. And yeah, that's basically it. And then like a few months go by, not a few months, maybe a month or two went by and tell me why. In the middle of the night, I'm getting a phone call and it's from this person and they're like, no, I'm outside your house. I just got dropped off here. I'm like, you, you got dropped off where and for the what, for the why? Like, and then I'm, I'm thinking this person is joking, but I'm like, okay, let me just go check. Like, right? And then I walk out and I find this person there, like, there's no car clearly, so somebody dropped him off there and he's drunk, so I'm like, Ugh. so I get to take care of this person again, like, ladies, 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 like, oh man, I think like we, uh, then that mother nature that God has placed into us is just, sometimes it's too much and sometimes I just don't know how to be ignorant to that and I just don't know how to I don't know like I just I couldn't let him I couldn't leave him there like clearly he's drunk and whatnot so I let him into my place and I make a space for him to sleep and then yeah he slept at night and then in the morning he's there trying to tell me why he ignored me or whatever and I'm just like mm -mm, no boy like I don't need that. Like I don't. I wanna know why you tried to ignore me. You ignored me or not ignore me, but you ghosted me or whatever. And that that's that's what it is. I was just trying to help you. You can go back to your life now, right? Cool. Um, that happened. Um, he leaves, and you like no. Um, I'll call you or whatever. And I'm like okay, cool. You know he leaves. Um, that I'll call you never happened by the way. Like um, he never called. Uh, until a week later. He shows up at my house again, drunk, and he's like, no, um, we need to talk. I'm like, what do you want us to talk about? No, it won't take long, like, let me just in, uh, just let me in, like, we are standing at the yard now, right? And he's like, just, just let me in quickly, um, we just need to talk about something quickly, I just need to explain something to you. I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. I let him in, and 
I didn't think it was gonna be long because there was like and somebody was outside waiting for him with the car, right? So I was like, okay, cool, it's just gonna be a quick talk, then he leaves or whatever, right? I let him in and I see the other guy, the other the, the car drive off or whatever. I'm like, why is that person leaving? It's like no, he'll just be back now. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, can you stop talking? Like, why are you here? And then he's like, no, um, I'm just here, like, I just want to tell you, like, why I ghosted you or whatever, right? I'm like, cool, yeah, why did you ghost me? And then he's like, no, um, you were intimidating. I'm like, the, the, what do you mean? Like, what? Ugh. Gosh, you guys, I need some wine or beer for this, but like, ugh. okay, yeah, um, I'm like, I was intimidating, like, in what way? Like, what do you mean? Like, no, it's just that you are a person that's on social media. <laughs> yes, you were right. Uh, you are a person that's on social media and wara wara. And so, um, I just, I couldn't date you for that reason. I'm like, uh -huh. okay, cool. And mind you, um, during the time this guy was ignoring me or ghosting me or whatever he would always be on my instagram viewing my instagram status oh and i'm just like why does this guy have so much time to view my instagram status but he wouldn't respond to a text or pick up my phone call like so i confronted him about that and i'm like dude you are in my instagram literally you don't miss a single post on my status yet you are here ignoring my phone calls like stop it like stop ignore not ignoring me but stop being all over my instagram like no i don't need you i don't need that i don't need your view or whatever just you know leave me alone you know it's creepy like first of all i ignore you like, you've ghosted me and now you are creeping up on my instagram like no mm -mm, that's creepy yeah so i told him about that and basically i think i blocked him nah after i told him i blocked him from viewing my status and then guess what this guy starts viewing my whatsapp status i'm like dude do you think like i didn't go through to see who saw my status or like he started viewing my whatsapp status guys so again i went to go block him on viewing my whatsapp status and whatever but yeah um anyways um after that day that he, he came to my that where, where i was now where he came at my place and he was explaining about why he ghosted me me being on social media and me being intimidating like how does anyone even find me intimidating but yeah um, that was the reason why he supposedly um, ghosted me right and now okay cool i hate you so um can you leave now and then he's like no i'm just tired and then he's trying to sleep in my bed like he's trying to fall to sleep and i'm like nope i'm not sleeping here you are leaving you are getting out now like get out and then he didn't want to leave right and i'm like what am i gonna do now so i called his friend the one where i got his number from in the first place i called him and i'm like hey friend um can you please come pick up your friend like he's ignoring i'm like he's here in my place and he's drunk again but doesn't want to leave so can you please come pick him up and then he's like um yeah i'm coming now okay no first i called his sister i called the sister and i'm like why your friend is here like your brother is here and he doesn't want to leave so um can you please call the friend now the other friend the one that i ended up calling to please come pick him up and tell me why this guy in the middle of the conversation while i'm telling his friend to come pick him up he's there like no please don't come pick me up and whatever and then his dumb friend not dumb he's a nice guy by the way but his friend is there like um no um he doesn't want me to come pick him up so i'm not gonna come pick him up and i'm like no if you're not gonna come pick your friend up, you will come find him in the street. Like, I will drag his ass into the street or something like that. He's leaving my place, so come pick up your friend. And then he calls and he's like, uh, I'm coming now. And I'm like, oh, a um, few minutes go by and I'm like, hey, um, where are you? Like, um, you need to come pick up your friend, you said you're coming to pick him up now. Because he doesn't live that far from here, my location. Um, so didn't have to take him that long anyways but he's like no um uh the guy said he, might, uh, he doesn't want me to come pick him up so i left to wara 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 so um i'll be back now and i'm like the conversation was between me and you so how does him saying don't come pick him up like i'm the one asking for the favor to come pick him up not him but yeah um 
he did show up he did come pick him up and they left and never heard from him ever since and oh, i'm so glad but like yeah i still owe his friend like i owe him big time for that like i owe him big time for that for coming to pick up his friend or whatever and getting rid of him for me but yeah um so um that's the story of how i got i got coasted or whatever like uh, clown moments and uh, i just don't know why god gave women that caring capability like we care so much that oh is it just me like we just become so stupid and you just let all these men in and you just thing you can help them all but you can help every single man some people don't want to be helped and some people can't be helped and that's just it sometimes you just need to put yourself first and you just need to understand that you 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 come before these people like these people are not supposed to have this much pressure on you or this much influence on you like <sighs> Put you first, ladies, and stop putting men first. Put your happiness first. The right guy will make you happy, and the right guy will not stress you out. This is, I guess, advice that I need to give to myself, anyways. But yeah, um, that's what happened. Um, yeah. Anyways, um, if you guys enjoyed this video of me getting super personal and sharing my personal information out on the internet, then please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that so much. If you're not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? You guys watch my videos, but you don't subscribe. Like, come on guys. Like, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you get notified every time I post a new videos. We are trying to reach 1,000 subscribers and we are, we are there. We are almost there. So please, please, please subscribe and help me reach 1,000 subscribers. Anyways, um, Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more videos. I'll leave my most recent upload here. I'll leave my most watched uh, video here and then I'll leave a playlist in the middle for you guys that you can go check out for more videos like this. Um, thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.